I'm Emma. I work for Essex Wildlife Trust as an outdoor learning educator. Um, I've been outside looking at signs of spring recently. The um, thing I'm going to look for today is ladybirds. Currently I'm in my front garden. It's lovely and sunny and some, uh, ladybirds do like to sunbathe on the front of my house. So I'm going to go for a bit of a walk just around the lavender to see what I can find. very delicate and I don't want them to disappear onto the floor and then get trodden on. Not be good. Just looking amongst the flower beds, see if I can see anything. Ladybirds are actually a kind of beetle. They get their name from a long, long time ago, in England anyway, being because lots and lots of paintings used to have ladies painted in red cloaks so they became our ladies beetle which obviously over time has got changed to lady bird you can see a snail seven spot ladybirds are the bright red ones that most of us see that have got three spots on each side of their bright red wings black spots but they're not the only kind of ladybird we get there are about 26 different native ones, but over the whole world, there's about 5,000 different ones. The ones we see are actually a really good ladybird detective sheet here. This is what I would bring out with me. You can download this and I'll put the link on in the comments after. Ladybirds are sometimes called gardener's friend because they eat little bugs that grow in the, that live in the garden called aphids that eat plants and eat crops. So see the ladybirds come along and eat them, which is really good and helpful. Ladybirds are bright red or really bright colors because they use it as a warning defense against other creatures eating them, particularly birds, obviously. They're very clever because they can also pretend to be dead. So sometimes when you find a ladybird and it's not moving and you can't see its legs, it might actually still be alive, just pretending. I'm at the end of the garden now because I know that this is a place that they come out and they blaze in the sun. I am um, not had much luck finding any yet. I'm going to be so excited when I do. One of the things you can do if you can't find any ladybirds like me at the moment, although they are around because I have seen them is if you're lucky enough to have some stones in your garden you can collect them you only need four, um, 10 actually because you need five of each and i've, I've colored five as ladybirds five as bumblebees and you know the game noughts and crosses or tic-tac-toe you can play that so you just need four sticks and obviously the aim of the game is to get three in a row okay I was playing this yesterday. I didn't win 